protection against over voltages surge reverters and surge modifiers okay so these are the different types of learning objectives we have to consider uh, here so cause of over voltages lightning phenomena different types of lightning strokes and the mechanism of lightning strokes charge separation theories so this is called wilson theory simpson theory reynolds and masson theory this uh, theories are uh, as i was explained in last in previous lecture okay and uh, then over voltage due to switching surges and methods to minimize switching surges and uh, statical approach of insulation coordinates these are the different types of uh, uh, concepts we have to consider here first uh, causes of over voltages the over voltages is because of power frequency impulse switching and transient operations because of high impulse because of transient switching operations okay these uh, over voltages are generated in the uh, electrical or equipment or operators okay power frequency impulse switching are transients because of this there is a over voltage developed in this our electrical operators so that's why so we have to considering on this power uh, cause of over voltages so next step, protection against over voltages means suggestors and suggestors and such diverters protection against over voltages is also one of the <coughs> important concept okay so because of this uh, our electrical operators uh, electrical equipments cannot withstand uh, very high voltages okay if you are applying high voltages so maybe damage because of insulation failure okay so every design every electrical operators are in every design every machine or every electrical operators every equipment in electrical is having some ratings if you are applying the voltage to the that insulator that is electrical operators above beyond the ratings it may be damaged that's why so protection is compulsory so that is called such resistors and uh, such diverters Okay. Protection against over voltages, uh, that is called such resistors and such diverters. We have to consider it here. And uh, charge separation theories, I was already explained in the previous lecture. So, different types of theories are there Reynolds theory, Simpson's theory, okay. Wilson theory, Machine theory. So, these are the different types of theories. According to the theories, I was explained how charge is separated in the clause, how charges are formed in the clause. Okay, next uh, last uh, lightning phenomena. So that is called mechanism of and strokes. Okay. So definition of lightning. So naturally these causes in uh, okay. Lightning phenomena, the natural causes. So lightning phenomena is a peak discharge in which the discharge accumulates in the clouds, discharges into the neighboring cloud or to the ground. So cloud to cloud or ground, cloud to ground or cloud to air also. Okay, lightning phenomena takes place uh, cloud to ground, uh, cloud to ground, and cloud to cloud, and cloud to air also. Okay, so lightning phenomena. So high voltage discharges into the ground from cloud to ground, cloud to cloud, okay, and the cloud to air also. Okay, this uh, distance between the electrode separation that is called cloud to cloud or cloud to ground. So distance is very, very large, generally 10 kilometers or more. Okay. The electrode separation that means a uh, cloud distance uh, the cloud to cloud or cloud to ground distance uh, is very large that is uh, approximately in the range of 10 kilometers or above even though this uh, range between this distance between the two clouds is uh, like this 10 kilometers this uh, lightning phenomena takes placement between uh, light to ground and uh, cloud to ground cloud to clouds okay that means so very high voltage developed in the uh, inside of the cloud because a very high potential difference between these two clouds and then lightning phenomena take place. The lightning phenomena is because of high potential difference. Okay, cloud to ground, there is a high potential difference because of this uh, high potential difference, but there is a ground will become, I mean, air will become ionized and spark will take place. That is spark is nothing but light. Okay, so like this. So this color, when two clouds are close together, this one cloud and this another cloud, okay. So I'm already explained according to these different types of theories, uh, Wilson theory, Simpson's theory, Marson's theory, Reynolds theory. So how the charges are takes place in the cloud. Okay, upper part of the cloud is maximum positive charges and the lower part of the cloud. So negative charges. Okay, upper part of the cloud because of 
uh, per part of the cloud is called positive charges and uh, here negative charges okay because of air currents heavy air currents uh, spray positive charges into the upper part of the cloud so and also the temperature of the upper part of the cloud is very very less below freezing point temperature below minus 40 degrees celsius upper part of the cloud so that's why ice crystals present in upper part of the cloud okay and so here so temperature is less so minus 5 degrees is approximately 0 degrees celsius that's why raindrop present in the lower part of the cloud and also because of these positive charges and the negative charges and also it's positive and this means high potential difference between in this between two clouds cloud to cloud okay this is called cloud cloud lightning phenomena in between two clouds and this is called lightning phenomena cloud to air this lightning phenomena is called cloud to air and this is a lightning phenomena is called cloud to ground because of huge potential difference between cloud and ground this lightning phenomena takes place okay so cloud to cloud first one and second cloud to air and cloud to ground understood and also inside of the cloud also takes place okay inside of the cloud also the lightning phenomena takes place understood so in this way the lightning is falling to the ground okay because of huge potential difference between ground cloud to ground understood so these are the different th theories as i already, already explained this theories okay uh, how the charges are takes place in the clouds and uh, switching phenomena that is called overall is due to switching operations you know well so this due to switching operations uh, this over voltage takes place in the electrical operators okay over voltage are induced in the electric operators because of switching operations okay because of energization of line and the load rejection can also cause the damage of power system operators okay so over voltage switching operations uh, there is a over voltage is, takes place okay so what to uh, what when uh, this because of this over voltage so there is maybe a damage of electrical operators so that's why so protection compulsory is required to protection of this electrical operators energization of line or load rejection can also damage power system operators okay for system with voltage above 300 kilovolts switching suggests is more prominent okay 300 kilo voltage uh, switching suggests are more prominent for uh, systems with voltage is above 300 kilovolts so our electrical operators some electrical operators are operating at 300 kilovolts so the for this case uh, switching operations is more prominent okay so next uh, suggestors are protect uh, protect the operators from these high switching or voltages okay suggestors are protects the operators from the these high switching or voltages it's clear so by using suggestors we have to protect the our electrical operators fine and then as to power frequency over voltages in power systems power frequency over voltages in power systems so power frequency over voltages so the main cause of the power frequency and is harmonic voltages the main causes of power frequency and is harmonic voltages are sudden loss of loads sudden loss of loads that means suddenly removing the load okay suddenly removal of the load so then maybe a cause of over voltages in the, or otherwise it causes the harmonic voltages neighboring electrical operators there may be a disturbance in other neighboring electrical operators that is called sudden loss of loads and a disconnection of inductive loads also the inductive loads means uh, our induction machines okay induction machines suddenly disconnected there is, uh, because of this uh, disconnection of high inductive loads there may be a cause of harmonic over voltages okay and also connection of capacitive loads connection of capacitive loads by connecting the capacitive loads uh, this causes uh, harmonic over voltages okay and uh, then next uh, ferrandi effect is uh, this ferrandi effect is nothing but receiving end voltage of the load line is less more than that of the sending end voltage receiving end voltage is more than that of the sending end voltage that is called ferrandi effect this is called as uh, over voltages in the receiving end side that is called our electrical operator side load side okay so over voltage that is called ferranti effect and then there are different types of faults by you uh, because of faults also there may be a disturbance there is maybe a cause of harmonic over voltages in the system okay 
that is called unsymmetrical uh, faults unsymmetrical faults causes uh, harmonic overvoltage next is saturation of transformers okay saturation in transformers so the transformers develops harmonic voltage because of understood and the over voltage is due to switching surges system faults and other abnormal conditions that means the origin of switching surges how switching surges are generated origin of switching surges first one is called deenergizing of transmission lines deenergizing of transmission lines and cables shunt uh, capacitor banks etc causes uh, origin of switching surges okay so switching uh, next disconnection of unloaded transformers and reactors also causes the switching surges in the transmission lines okay and uh, energization of reclosing of lines and reactive loads and uh, sudden switching of loads short circuits and fault clearance okay resonance uh, phenomena like uh, ferro resonance or acting gauss these are all uh, different types of causes for switching surges these are the origin of switching surges deenergizing of transmission lines cables and the disconnection of unloaded transformers energization of reclosing lines and reactive loads and sudden switching of loads short circuits and fault clearances resonance and phenomena like ferro resonance so these are all factors uh, affecting on uh, uh, charge separation the clouds so understood these are the different types of origin of switching surges and the next uh, switching over voltage is next high voltage and ultra high voltage systems okay switching over voltage is next high voltage and ultra high voltage systems these are the different types of uh, switching over voltage suppose causes over voltage is in uh, are generated in next high voltage systems when there sudden release or internal energy stored okay internal energy stored sudden releasing that is called so inductor and capacitance effect is in transmission line so capacitor is nothing but electrostatic form inductor is called electromagnetic form so sudden releasing of electrostatic field that is called capacitant sudden releasing of electromagnetic field that is because of inductance it causes extra high voltage and ultra high voltage in system switching over voltage okay switching over voltage is because of energy storage elements that is called capacitor and inductor understood because of these two elements only this uh, uh, this switching over voltage is are uh, developed in trans in transmission lines transmission is having capacitance uh, that is called transmission line to ground uh, is having some capacitance that is called energy stored in a uh, electrostatic field that is called capacitor and uh, next energy stored in uh, uh, also in the form of magnetic field that is called because of inductance transmission line is having some inductance no? so that is also causes the electro uh, Over voltage is that is called electromagnetic. Sudden uh, switching operations on this energy storage elements may cause switching over voltages in next high voltage and ultra high voltage systems. The next uh, the different uh, different situations under this happens uh, first uh, interaction of uh, low inductive load currents, inductive currents that is called current chopping by high speed circuit breakers. Okay, interruption of low inductive currents uh, that is called current chopping by high speed circuit breakers this is this is called interruption of low inductive loads uh, current chopping by high speed circuit breakers and the reactors are such because of interruption of uh, current chopping i mean uh, by using uh, interest by interruption can be done by using high speed circuit breakers no? okay interruption of low inductive loads so that is means by using circuit breakers so we have to isolate the healthy faults I mean, uh, fault default from the healthy faults, no? and next interruption of small capacitive currents, that is called switching of unloaded lines, and next uh, ferro resonance. Okay, conditions may occur when the poles of the circuit breakers do not close simultaneously. If the poles of the circuit breakers do not close simultaneously, this is because of switching over voltages in next high voltage and ultra high voltage systems. These are the different types of uh, in uh, causes uh, situation. different type of situations to develop so high extra high voltage and ultra high voltage understood and the next uh, methods for protection of against uh, lightning methods for protection uh, against lightning so these are the different types of methods are there uh, there are mainly three main methods are generally used for protection against lightning that is called overhead earth wire 
and lightning arrestors or such diverters and rod gap arrestors and our horn gap arrestors these are the different types of methods by using these methods we have to protect the uh, our electrical operators against lightning over voltage understood so against lightning over voltage that can be protected by using overhead earth wires and lightning arrestors and such or such diverters or rod gap arrestors or horn gap arrestors by using this uh, different types of techniques we have to protect the our electrical operators against lightning it's clear protection from over voltage is okay protection from over voltage is the currents at a substation is about 10 to kilo ohms you know in the substation the operating current is called 10 kilo ohms to 20 kilo ohms okay so because of this impedance involved in the circuit such arrestors bypass this high currents and protect the operators from lightning surges okay by using such arrestors by using such arrestors we have to bypass the very high currents by using such arrestors we have to bypass the very high currents then the electrical uh, our equipment uh, electrical operator is safe that means protected uh, Understood. So substation is about to tend to get twenty kilo ohms. So because of the impedance involved in the circuits, okay. So during lightning, very high amount of current is generated. During lightning conditions, a very high amount of current is generated. That current can be diverted by using uh, such arrestors. By using such arrestors, we have to bypass this AV high current, and then our electrical uh, equipment can be protected. Okay. such arrestor is an important equipment from the point of view of protection of high voltage operators such arrestor is an important equipment from the point of view point of protection of high voltage operators from the okay over voltages caused due to lightning and switching phenomena caused due to lightning and switching phenomena such arrestor okay. okay and arrestor this is called one of the simple lightning arrestor circuit diagram one of the simple lightning arrestor circuit diagram this is called equipment to be protected that is called for example transformer this is called transformer transformer bushings okay so these are called transformer bushings are connected to the line okay due to lightning if it is lightning falling on the transmission this uh, line huge amount of current is passing through the and our electrical equipment if lightning arrestor is not there if lightning arrestor is not there if lightning takes place any lightning takes place near the transformer then huge amount of current is passing through the transformer that means a very high voltage induced across the transformer then may be damage this equipment may be damaged that's why to protect this our electrical equipment okay so we need a lightning arrestor okay lightning arrestor so this is called lightning arrestor in this lightning arrestor so one side of the lightning arrestor is connected to the line okay so one side of the lightning arrestor is connected to the transmission line and another side is connected to the ground through a resistor non linear resistor fine one side of this uh, lightning arrestor is connected to your line uh, transmission line and another side is connected to the ground through a non linear resistor okay this is called a spark gap this is called a spark gap your lightning arrestor under normal condition okay under normal conditions uh, uh, the, it like a open circuit just like a open circuit under normal condition that means uh, this non linear resistor na so this resistance of this resistor is very high resistance of the resistor is very high under normal condition that means without to lightning if light uh, if the transmission line is operating that means our transformer is working properly in that condition so it's like a open circuit is having high resistance okay and there is like a open circuit spark gap that means just like open circuit under normal condition so any lightning takes place in a transmission line okay any fault is occur near the transformer or any lightning takes place here on the transmission line okay so under this condition huge amount of current is uh, passing through the line through the one side of the lightning arrestor and then this spark will be appear okay because of this high voltage 
because of high light lightning lightning falling on transmission line this uh, spark will become ions this gap will become ions and a spark takes place and the resistance of the resistor is very less and then the fault current is diverted into the ground under normal condition the resistance is very high under fault condition that is called under lightning fault condition so the resistance is very very less that is called non linear resistor so then that fault current is easily diverted to the lightning arrest through a lightning arrest so in this way the lightning arrestor is used to protect the our electrical apparatus that is called equipment to be protected okay this is about a simple concept about lightning arrestor